Hello, my friends. <clears throat> I hope everyone has successfully wonderful and glorious Monday. I'm Darth Veridon. This was the very first saber um, that I bought from Ultra Sabers. It was a mystery box. Aeon LE V4. No windows. Guarded switch. No sound. Guardian Blue. My very first one. I was excited to get this. It has um, you know, has some uh, special meaning to me. I mean, I'll probably never sell it just because it was my first one. Right when I started collecting sabers, this was the beginning of the madness, the uh, unending stream of sabers that I seemed to buy. So. I've always wanted to upgrade that. I always wanted to get something a little bit better, but I didn't really want to buy one from Ultra Sabers. And uh, I didn't want to get one and send it out to be installed. So, um, you know, you just go onto eBay and you look and you look and you look and, you look and occasionally you'll find something really, really, uh, really, really perfect. And that's what I found. That's what I have here. So let's unbox this. You know. What uh, should be inside here? How do you open this thing? Ah, there it is. Is a uh, if this is the right package, that is. It should be a variation of the Aeon V4 LE that you uh, just saw, but this one's a bit gussied up. And uh, not sure if it was the seller that did the install, did the gussing, of which I just spoke, or someone else. Anyway, this has been installed with a Nano Biscotti, uh, no, 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 Biscotti, a uh, Pico Crumble 2.5. I don't know if it's light side or dark side. Yes, I did just stab myself. It's been a long day. I am fine. And, uh, it has the windows of which I, uh, just mentioned weren't on this one. So this does have windows and it also has a backlit switch. And this one came with, uh, the shock pommel. So it's, it's really a nice package. Plus with the uh, the Pico Crumble, it um, it has flash on flash. Uh, should have full RGB color changing. And um, this is what really sold me. Like, oh, <laughs> also has, look at that. They saw fit to add an LED retention screw, perfect. And then, what I really, what really sold me was, it has a 28 millimeter base speaker, and look at this chassis. This chassis is just glorious, and this of course runs off of a lithium ion 18650 battery, and it has a recharge port. <laughs> I mean, I can't believe I found this thing. And then, to top everything off, the price was very low very very low indeed Th this thing and i won't i don't want to <laughs> i don't rub it in uh i i made an offer and the uh the buyer accepted my offer what i paid for this costs less than your average lgt saber studios saber and, and, and you're probably thinking who gives a crap it's an ultra sabers, but it, it's not really an ultra saber. And, and um, it, you know, and with this install, assuming that everything works, uh, I just think that this is going to be a really hella fun um, lightsaber. And uh, so we've got a blade, all chosen. Uh, let me see. Got my Allen key. I came prepared today. The only thing that's going to mess things up is if the the battery's dead. In which case. I'll have to uh, do a cutaway and recharge the battery and do a cutaway and come back 
and put in all the extra work of editing, which I hope I don't have to do because I don't really want to spend my whole evening editing a video such as this. All right. Anyway, so we've got our a 32 inch um, um, mid grade uh, ultra edge blade. And let's see if this boots up. Nice. And it's dark side. Nice and bassy. The, uh, the, um, what do you want to call it? The swings aren't that loud, but that might just be because the uh, opening for the uh, palm wasn't that uh, substantial. But the, the cool thing is, look, look what the uh, look what the backlit switch is doing. It's kind of changing colors. You're seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I think that's really cool. That is really cool. I like that. All right, so. Wait a minute, is this, is this dark side? Oh, it's been a while. Actually, no, I think this is light side. Now that I think about it. I can't tell. It's so bassy right now, and, and, I've, and I've forgotten. I have, um... I have Saber Trio with uh, both light side and dark side, and, and really honestly, I can't remember which one's which. I like this, this is a nice step. So, a uh, nice touch. So let's turn this thing, put in a deep sleep. How come you're not going into deep sleep? I thought of holding it. For two beeps. Maybe I just didn't hold it long enough. Well, it should go into deep sleep, but it's not. It's going into mute. So, you know what I'm going to do? Let's see. Do I have a kill key nearby. I'm going to see if I've got a kill key nearby. Hold on just a moment. Bear with me. Ah. In lieu of a kill key, which uh, looks like I'm going to have to hit up the kill key factory and get a kill key for this thing. I'm just going to use the uh, plug from one of my Saber Trio chargers, which um, I can actually use this uh, charger for this. So it should be compatible. And if I stick the plug in here, yep, it did uh, put into deep sleep. Normally with the, um, the Pico Crumble, if you hold this for two beeps, it puts it into a deep sleep mode and then you hold it again for you know another beep and it puts it into color changing mode so i'm not sure what's going on there but let's give this a try all right at least the color changing is working i was a little bit worried there oh that's nice that red looks really nice. And it's good to see that all the colors are available. I'm actually gonna stick with... Yellow.
Now, Pico Crumble doesn't have uh, Blaster Block, doesn't have Lock Up Effect, you just have Clash. You have a nice flicker, nice flicker built into the uh, into the LEDs here, and um, you just have either, like I said, a light side or a dark side hum. I think this is light side. I'm just not uh, for some reason it's, the the resonance is, is throwing me off a little bit, but. This is really nice. This is really nice. <laughs> anyway, let me just give you a kind of a close-up here. Not that you haven't seen an uh, Ultra Saber's Aeon LE V4, but uh, I don't know. I personally haven't seen one quite like this. I think it would even probably benefit some, from some uh, from some weathering. Sorry, it's a little bit scuffed up. It looks like it's been uh, it's been put through some use, but yeah. I don't know. Just uh, you know, keep keep looking on eBay. The things you find. I'm going from this to a pretty substantial upgrade, and I'm absolutely happy. This is. This is just awesome. And um, the last thing is, this will go into deep sleep on its own. Um, I'm not sure how long it is. Probably something like 10 minutes. But um, yeah, nice. Very nice. I mean, you know, the, what can you say? I mean, it's an Ultra Saber's Hilt, to be sure. But um yeah, once you throw some decent electronics and get the thing out right and put a, you know, an LED retention screw, get a decent chassis in there. I mean, you're onto something. You know, if, if only, if only Ultra Sabers would do this, if they would just do this and offer it at a decent price, imagine, imagine how much better they would be if they would just give you even like you know, Saber Trio gets away with. They, they just use these electronics on their FX sabers, and they're epic. You can either get this, you know, I mean, yeah, it doesn't have a smooth string, and eventually they're going to they're gonna upgrade. They're, they're going to find something new to uh, to throw into their, you know, hilts. Who knows what it's going to be? I think they're just probably waiting for technology to, to be in the right spot. But, I mean, you can get, in the meantime, you can get a, a saber with CFX, and it's phenomenal. But, you know, Ultra Sabers doesn't even need to do that. All they need to do is invest in something like an install like this and a chassis and an LED retention screw. And they'll kick ass. They'll do so well. But, um, you know, in the meantime, you've, you've just got to send it to an installer or, or just get lucky like I did. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to stop rambling. But I'm very happy. So, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And, um, yeah. It's the beginning of the week. I hope the rest of the week goes well for everybody. And um, as as usual, may the force be with you. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. You take care. And have a good night. Bye.